And this was a life and death matter. This needs to be taken extremely seriously. Michael Sharafa was one of hundreds of frustrated, angry, sweaty sub riders trapped on the stalled F train last night without power, in the dark, no air conditioning or ventilation. You can not see the sweat on our faces. Sharafa says the train stopped in the tunnel after a power problem, trapping passengers for 45 minutes, and that it got so hot. People started to start sweating. Uh, people were taking their clothes off. He says some felt faint. The doors to the train clouded with condensation and defiant messages. One passenger writing, I will survive. Sharafo says the worst part was not receiving information from train personnel about what was happening and when it would be over. Ultimately, the train had to be pushed to the next station for passengers to exit, frantically prying at the doors to get out. According to the Riders Alliance, a watchdog group, delays have nearly tripled in the past four years. It's just getting worse. And some are pointing fingers about all this on the man in charge of the MTA. Like we did it on the Second Avenue subway. Like Governor Cuomo touting that project, but mum on subway delays. We need to ask Governor Cuomo, where are you and what are you going to finally do about this? At a labor rally today, the governor would not speak to us about the subway nor grant our interview requests. We also contacted the MTA requesting an on-camera interview to discuss the F-train trouble and what many say is an overall decline in service. The agency emailed it is looking into why customers didn't get better communication from the train crew. It was like 150 degrees in there. A train ride they won't soon forget. Scott Rappaport, CBS2 News. And as you would expect, Scott asked the MTA what the agency protocol is when a train is stuck in a tunnel and cannot move and what is considered a good response time for people trapped on board. So far, he's not received an answer.